Hey everybody, it's Dana Shea Williams with KeepOnYourCash.com and in today's video I want to help you all, those of you who are trying to lose weight and those of you all who are trying to succeed in business. Now you might be watching this video saying, Dana, what in the world does trying to lose weight have to do with trying to succeed in a business? And I'm going to show you through this video that it actually has a lot to do with each other. I happen to be doing both. I am trying to lose weight and I'm doing really good at it and I'm also trying to succeed in a business and I'm also doing really good in that. And last night, my husband and I actually went on a dinner cruise. Um, we have a, a, a boat in our area called the Spirit of Norfolk, and it just um, cruises around the harbor, and it's really nice, really nice, fun, um, romantic date night. And so we were out last night, and I did really good with my eating. Now, I've been eating really clean for the past probably two weeks. I mean, just, you know, no refined sugars, um, you know, really being very smart about my fats and my proteins and all that. I've been doing a great job. And so we're on this cruise, and... The catcher or the catch is that the cruise was free, the food was free, drinks were free. So we were like, okay, we're gonna go and we're gonna have a great time. And I did really well with my eating. You know, I had mostly seafood and I had, you know, a little bit of like roast beef. Um, and I didn't have any dessert, but what I did have is a few drinks. And so, you know, <laughs> it's funny because as I'm drinking, I'm like, you know what, I wonder how many sugar grams are in this drink right now. And I'm not like a big drinker or anything, but I like, you know, a cocktail every now and again. And, you know, so when I came home last night, I was joking with my husband, it was like midnight, and I was like, I'm going to hop on my spending bike. And he was like, no way, you know, it's like midnight. And the only thing I kept thinking was, I wonder if I've sabotaged my efforts because I had a few drinks. I wonder if the mistakes or the actions that I took a few hours ago are going to derail my success. And I have good news for you. The answer is no. You know, every day we wake up and we make choices and we make decisions. And whether you're trying to lose weight or whether you're trying to succeed in a business or whatever you're trying to do, you have choices to make. And you can choose every single day. Now, I have some props that I want to show you. And just to kind of drive this point home a little bit, you know, you can choose to either to drink water or you can choose to drink soda. If you drink soda, which I actually don't drink, thank God, this is for my kids. Um, but if you drink the soda one day, don't get all in a funk and think, oh my gosh, I might as well just give up because I just had a cup of soda. It's okay. Get the water and make a new choice. Okay? You can choose to have a cookie. Again, all temptations all around my house. Again, for the kids, not for me. You can choose to have a cookie or you can choose one of my go-to snacks pistachios yum yum right <laughs> for when you're wanting that crunch you can choose to have something that's still going to be good but it's not going to pack on the sugar and the fat saturated fat it is you know like the cookie last little prop here you can choose to have ice cream now i love ice cream this right here was the death of me this is why i need to lose weight because every night for about a year i would have a bowl of ice cream. I love ice cream. So what I did is I said, okay, I love the creamy, you know, texture, the sweetness and all of that. So I just had to replace this with this. Yum. Cottage cheese. <laughs> okay. Now cottage cheese, I am not going to lie to you, is not good by itself. But you can do so many things with cottage cheese. You can put blueberries, you can put strawberries. I have all sorts of berries in my refrigerator that I use. Um, you can even do like um, low-fat granola on top if you want that crunch. You can make yourself a little sundae, putting the fruits and the granola in. And you can still feel like, if you close your eyes and think really, really hard, that you're having a cup of cake sprinkle, that, that is cake and sprinkle ice cream. Now, why am I showing you guys all this? It's because I want to encourage you. There was something that I thought about last night, you know, when I got home and I was thinking about, did I sabotage my efforts? This really relates a lot of times to business because there are some times, you know, that you're, you're making decisions or you're making mistakes all along the way. You're just failing your way forward. And sometimes the temptation is to give up because you feel like I've made so many mistakes. I haven't done this right. I didn't invest here. I messed up over here. And the temptation is to just give it all up. And this is why diets don't work. Because people who try to diet, right, they think, okay, I'm going to stop eating all the foods that I love and I'm going to start eating all these nasty foods and I'm going to be successful. Well, first of all, the mindset isn't right. You can't go into it that way and expect to have success. But what you have to do is instead of saying I'm going to take away all the things that I like, 
and replace them with things that I don't like, what you have to do is you have to teach yourself how to like the things that are better for you. Now, in business, same exact thing. You know, I am a night owl. I'm, I'm up late pretty much every single night. I'm not a morning person. Wake me up in the morning before 7 o'clock. It is not going to be a good day for you or for me. And so what I've had to learn is through discipline how to get up early. Because in the morning hours, it's quiet. I can get things done in the morning that I can't get done in the afternoon when the kids are running around. So instead of telling myself, I hate waking up in the morning, I hate waking up in the morning, I have to think about the result of me waking up early in the morning and what that result is going to give to me. And now I've actually started to kind of sort of enjoy getting up earlier in the mornings. Now, I'm not going to lie and say I'm a morning person because I'm not. That's just not how I'm hardwired. However, there are things that you can teach yourself. There are things that you can discipline yourself to do that you will become to enjoy so long as you're consistent with them. If you make a mistake in your diet, if you make a mistake in your business, just get back up and keep going. Yesterday is gone. I can't go back and take away those drinks that I had. I can't go back and make a different decision. And I'm not even upset that I made those decisions because you know what? You got to live a little bit. And I believe in everything in moderation, okay? So I'm not out getting drunk and falling around and being crazy, but you know, everything in moderation. And so if you are struggling in your business right now, I want to encourage you, no matter what mistakes you may have made in the past, no matter what other business ventures you've tried that did not work out, what you have to do is put the past behind you. Today is a new day. Today you can make the decisions. Today you can make the choice to do what you need to do in your business so that you can succeed. If you're trying to lose weight, same exact thing. I don't care what you ate yesterday or what you had two minutes ago or what you might be eating right now as you're watching this video on trying to lose weight. You can choose to make different decisions. The choice is yours. And I'm such a huge believer in creating the future that you want. So many people want things, but they don't want to do the work to get them. And so if you're willing to do the work, you really truly can have anything that you want in life so long as you're willing to do the work and so long as you're willing to get back up again when you make mistakes. So I hope this video has been encouraging for you all. If you need marketing help in your business, I want to encourage you to click on the link below this video. That's simply keepallyourcash.com. And subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be kind of walking through this weight loss journey with you all and um, other journeys and marketing tips and all sorts of things just to kind of get a peek at, you know, Dana Shea behind the scenes. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to leave your comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.